Well, if you've been outside lately, you've probably found yourself stuck in the middle of a mess of overbearing bugs. All right. Well, one specific bug is sure to have you on the run. This micro-sized menace could make a massive impact on your outdoor life. And News 10's Eric Stibman found out what it is and why it's bugging you. The banks of the mighty Wabash. It flows by Terre Haute and also runs its course along the city of Vincennes. That's not all it does. And so what they do is the, the larvae, the worm, live in the water. Uh, once they hatch into the adult phase, they get in a little air bubble in the water and they float to the, the surface. It plays host to the buffalo gnat. And here lately, you've probably battled a few of them, even if you didn't know what they were. Insect experts like Valerie Klingerman from the Purdue Extension Office say whether you mowed your grass or live near a farm field has nothing to do with this increase of buffalo gnats. It's something entirely different. A lot of times after rains and stuff where the water kind of freshens up, so to speak, um, they, they tend to like that. A good rain or clean water means you'll see more. And after a wet April, it's easy to explain why you're seeing so many. But what if you're nowhere near the river or clean moving water? And the adult can fly up to 10 miles away from um, the source. Perhaps the most disturbing matter on these pesky pests, they know how to find you. They need to feed on blood, so they're kind of similar to mosquitoes in that sense. The good news is, as soon as the weather warms up, you'll see less of them, but that's about the same time mosquitoes will start looking for you. And according to experts, probably the ticks too. Okay. Which I haven't seen any yet this year, but they'll be coming soon. <laughs> yeah, I haven't heard many reports about ticks yet. In Vincennes, I'm Eric Stidman, News 10. Insect experts say there is no way to keep the gnats away. They don't respond very well to insect repellent.